British Airways stopping selling tickets for short haul flights from Heathrow. That's the headline here. And look, this is going to outrage a lot of holidaymakers, right? It is not a year for holidays, and it should be because we're post COVID now. Everyone wants to go away. Yeah. And it has been nothing but a shit show for anybody <laughs> wanting to go away to Europe. I know, but it's been awful. But I think I've, much, I think I've spoken about this before. Like, this is just I'm like I'm glad they've done this. To be honest, like. It's talked about as if like go on. No, one go can, on. no one can go on holiday anymore. What they've done is they've reduced the daily cap from 100,000 passengers a day to uh, from 104,000 a day to 100,000 a day. So that, that matters to those 4,000 people. Of course people, it does. But if you, you were among those 4,000 people. Well, how would you ever know? Well, you... Well, yeah, you wouldn't. No. So, <laughs> so that's, that's not good. It's I'm not, not. Yeah, I'm not. People so, missing out I on know, a break. But the problem is, what I would rather see happen is that 100,000 people are allowed to go on holiday and they don't have two hour waits and they can get Do their really baggage at the other happen? time. Well, the reality is if they scale back their all, all of their operations, because quite frankly, they don't have the staff or the operations or the tactics at the moment mm. to deal with it. Then the people that are actually paying a lot of money at the moment, because everything is inflated in price, actually gets the service that they're paying for. Wouldn't it upset you though if you saw an empty seat next to you on the plane? And but that won't happen. Because you know, the thing is, that we, I remember you, I used to work in a restaurant, right? And we used to, one particular night, we were very short staffed, everybody called in sick. Yep. And it was a night when we just went, we'll accept what we can handle, give good service to those that we can handle, and the rest of them can jog on. It said people were coming in and seeing you know half empty restaurant and going yeah. why can't you fit us in? We said well we want to give you good service. Yeah, but I don't know where I sit on that. As a customer, you would not be very happy. Understandably, you're not going to be very happy. But no one's walking up and down the tarmac looking in the windows of an aeroplane going oh there's loads of seats in there. Just yeah, what if your mate couldn't get on? <laughs> I know. I, but I just think it's just another thing that like takes away one of the joys, I know, few joys like, that you have when I you're know. living in Britain and the weather's crap. I mean it's been all right this year. But, you know, when the weather's rubbish and you want to go away somewhere and you can't because... I know, but as I said, because everybody's paying so much at the moment, like, for to pay, like, in some cases, double the normal amount and then get half the service that you would have before because mm. they want, they're greedy and they want to accept all passengers at all times. I, d yeah. I don't think I agree with that. I, I understand from that. a business perspective, but at the same time, I, it just annoys me. Yeah, I mean, if there is anybody listening in the UK, I d doubt they're among our five listeners, well, but you never there's know. There's 4,000 people a day that can't go anywhere else. So well, got they should be listening to <laughs> us. I, I will say that it's a very similar situation over here. Like, everywhere yeah. is short-staffed. Yeah. Everywhere you go is crying out for workers. Yep. It's the same everywhere. I mean, that's not to say you shouldn't come to Perth, however, because it's brilliant weather. Uh, no, well, not today. But, not, you know, not, not it the will last be by the time West. you get here. <laughs> It's been so monsoon all the last few days. <laughs> we don't tell that to people back okay, home. Okay, so... No, we tell them it's lovely weather it's lovely all every year day. round. 40 it's degrees every nice. day. So this cap's going to be in place until September. Mm. Um, well, yeah, we'll see how it plays out from there. I don't know if they'll have any more staff by then, to be honest. I think it might just become a thing. Who knows? But uh, hopefully things pick up because uh, people very much look forward to a break, especially around Christmas.